So we just looked at decimal expansions where we took values that were written in another base and wrote them in base 10. Now what we want to do is to find values that are written in say base 10 and write them in binary or base two, octal, which is base eight and hexadecimal base 16 expansions. So there's an algorithm in your book that explains how to go from a base 10 number, which is what we have here, into really any other base. And the algorithm essentially tells us to do division. And you can show that sort of as multiplication or as division. And so I'm going to show you both ways. The way that we typically do things is to show it with the multiplication, um, but it's not wrong if you show it using division. So I'm gonna show you both. You pick which one you like better. And so let's start with the multiplication. So what I would do on this one is I would take my answer, which is of course base 10. So I've got 12,543 base 10. And I want to write this as a base eight. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take 12,543 divided by eight and find the quotient and the remainder, which I of course have done ahead of time, but you can use your calculator to do that. So I'm gonna say this is eight times 1,567 and I had a remainder of seven. So I'm gonna write it just like that. Always write your remainder at the end. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take whatever this value is, the quotient, and that becomes the value that I am then going to divide again. So 1,567 divided by eight gave me a quotient of 195 and a remainder again of seven. Then I'm going to take my 195 and I'm going to divide it by eight, which gave me a quotient of 24 with a remainder of three. Then I'm going to take my 24, I'm gonna divide it by eight and that gives me eight times three with a remainder of course of zero. And just because I have a remainder of zero doesn't mean I'm done because I still have this three and what I want there is I want a zero. So you're done when you get to a zero. So the three comes over here. I have three equals eight times zero with a remainder of three. So now I'm done. So if I'm going about it this way, what I'm looking at is this remainder and the remainder is going to give me my answer. So my value of one or 12,543 base 10 is equal to 30377. So notice I'm going in the opposite order, base eight. So that's pretty straightforward. Again, all it takes is a basic calculator. Make sure you know how to find remainders, etc. Now, if I wanna do it the other way with division, it's really the same thing. It's just showing it in a different way. So it's really whatever you're comfortable with. I'm gonna start down here at the bottom. Um, I'm gonna write my one, two, five, four, three, and I'm gonna divide by eight. And just as I did before, when I divided by eight, I got one, five, six, seven, with a remainder of seven. And then I'm gonna divide that value by eight. And just as I did before, I would get 195 with a remainder of seven. And then I would divide by eight again, and I would get 24 with a remainder of three. And I would divide by eight again, and I would get three with a remainder of zero. And just like I said before, you are not done until you get to a zero. So now I have to divide by eight again. Eight goes into three zero times with a remainder of three. So I want you to notice this time, because I started at the bottom and worked my way up, my solution here is in the correct order, 
And so again, it doesn't matter which way you do it as long as you remember which order to go in. So on all of the other examples that we do, I'm going to be using this method, the multiplication method. But again, if you like the division method, there's certainly nothing wrong with that. So now let's look at a hexadecimal expansion. And just as before, we talked about a hexadecimal expansion. And again, that is base 16. I've rewritten the letters and their um, associations in the hexadecimal system for you. But we're going to do it just like we did before. So I'm going to write my original value that is in base 10. And I'm just going to start dividing by 16. So when I divide this by 16, I end up with 1,217. And I, in fact, don't have a remainder on this one. Again, just as before, I'm going to take the 1217. And again, I'm going to divide it by 16, but I'm just going to write it as a multiplication problem. So 16 times 76, and this one has a remainder of 1. I'm going to take my 76 and use it again. 76 is 16 times 4 with a remainder of 12. And then I'm going to take my 4. Remember, we keep going until we get to a 0. So 4 is the same as 16 times 0 with a remainder of 4. So just as before, I'm very interested in looking at these values. And again, I'm going to go in the upside down order. So 4, 12, 1, 0. Now obviously I'm not going to leave it like that because 12 is represented by C. So writing this, I would write 4 C 1 0 base 16. Lastly, let's look at a binary expansion. And of course, binary means base 2. And so I'm just going to do it exactly the same way. Whenever you're dealing with base 2, you're probably going to have a lot of multiplication. And so you leave yourself a lot of room, write small, etc. But if I start with 141, I'm going to divide that by 2. And that is 2 times 70 with a remainder of 1. I'm going to take the 70 and use it again. So 70 is 2 times 35. And that one has a remainder of 0. Remember, there's only two choices with binary, 0 or 1. So if you get a remainder greater than that, you've done something wrong. Then I'm going to take my 35. 35 is 2 times 17, which is 34, plus a remainder of 1. I'll take my 17. 17 is the same as 2 times 8, which is 16, with a remainder of 1. I'll take my 8 which is 2 times 4, which is 8. So that gives me a remainder of 0. Using my 4, 4 is 2 times 2 with a remainder of 0. Again, keep going until you get to that 0 as the quotient. So 2 equals 2 times 1 with a remainder of 0. And then I'll use 1 is 2 times 0 with a remainder of 1. So now I'm all done. So here's my values. And again, I'm going to go in the bottom up order. So 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. Now keep in mind when we write things in binary, typically we write them in groups of 4. So I would write 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, base 2 would be my final answer.